Hello everyone, welcome to Open Source Cook. In this video, we are going to see the installation of Drupal 9. As most of you might be knowing, Drupal is an open source content management system and more. It's not just a content management system, it's a very powerful tool and uh, uh, you can configure it a lot. Anyways, uh, rather than going into further details, let's discuss about the installation of uh, Drupal 9 and uh, how to go ahead with that. So uh, the support for uh, Drupal 7 is there till November 22, after that it will be stopped and 8 I think it already stopped in uh, November 2021. So it's better to either directly start working at Drupal 9 and or you have to migrate to Drupal 9. So uh, Drupal's website is drupal.org and uh, there you can get a lot of resources about Drupal. So you can just go to this website and get more information. So to start installation of Drupal you will have to download it. So you can say try Drupal demo online download it already have the download page open here you can see this thing so you can see uh, 7 is going to be supported till November 22 and is 8 is already on end of life cycle and will not receive any further updates so best is to go in for this so let's uh, download this so I'm just going to use a terminal window to download this you can download it in any manner you like so let's download it the download size is around 18 MB and uh, what you have to do is you have to get it downloaded into your document root so dependent upon what you are using you'll have to download it accordingly so this is my document root and uh, here where I have my Drupal so now before we proceed the more important part is that uh, it, let's have a look at what are the requirements for Drupal 9 you need Nginx 0.7x more Apache 2.4.7 or more then uh, PHP version 7.3, 7.4 is required. So make sure you have a higher version of PHP. And database requirement, it works with MySQL, MariaDB, SQLite, Postgres and all, but uh, keep a track of the versions. So MySQL should be 5.7.8 plus or MariaDB should be 10.3.7 plus. That is important, otherwise you can land in trouble now i already have uh, this installed on my system so database is there drupal will need uh, one database to work with so let's just create a database for it so okay so the first thing that we need to do is create a database for our uh, drupal installation so login as the root user of word your MySQL. Fine. So here we are going to create a database. Create database. Uh, say D9. Okay. Now we have to create a user who will be utilizing this database. We don't work as root. We don't use the root password, the username and password in actual work. So we say create user now D9 user at localhost. So this is going to restrict the usage only from localhost. Identify by give some password. In real life, do give some good password. I'm just going to say D9 user123. This is a test installation keep in mind so now we have to assign 
this database which we just created to this user so this user effectively have only access to one uh, database on mysql or mariadb whatever you are going to use so grant all on your database name d9 dot star to this particular person d9 user at localhost okay so that does our work now we need to check whether we have this user working so say mysql minus u uh, d9 user minus u and d and here just check if he has the database show show databases so we have this d9 accessible so we have uh, this information ready fine now uh, we'll need uh, this information keep in mind database name is d9 d9 user and d9 user123 is the password and host name is localhost so just for the sake of security i will copy this and keep it with me for the time being say in a text file like this fine okay now we have already uh, downloaded our drupal over here <coughs> so what we need to do is extract it over here and in real life what is going to happen is your drupal is going to reside here so when i extract it of course you can use a gui to do this also right now i'll just extract it over here and when you extract it what happens is you can see it creates a directory so in real life you are not going to say your website slash drupal or something so what we need to do is we need to simply move everything outside this so drupal 9 i'll use midnight commander and So if you have not used midnight commander, it's a nice interesting command line tool where I can actually select move and do a lot of stuff very easily. And if I press F6, it will move the things for me. F6 is, uh, sorry, I pressed F8, F6 and Yes, yes, so we'll overwrite this. And once your work is done, you can quit this. So I don't need this directory anymore. RMDIR. Drupal. Okay, so we have Drupal ready over here. Now we are ready to install our Drupal. So let's go to localhost l o c a l localhost okay so here is the installation it says choose language you can install it in multiple languages a lot of languages seems to be supported and a lot of indian languages are supported so we'll just continue with english Choose a profile. Profile means a standard installation, uh, which is a good thing when you're starting with Drupal. Minimal, once you are an advanced user, you'll know what to have, what not to have. So it's not a good idea to start with. And there is a demo installation with some configuration already done or some kind of food magazine. So we'll just go ahead with standard, save and continue. Now here uh, there are some requirements and certain issues which it is telling me which we need to resolve. So it says file system this directory does not exist and it's not writable also. So first thing we need to do is we need to get this done. So this is where your Drupal installation is. You'll see uh, this thing. And another issue it says is that settings.php does not exist. So 
let's have a look at it. See sites. So then in sites we go to default and uh, there is no this thing called as uh, files. That's what it is saying default files. So okay, let's see what is there files and it says we don't have a settings.php so we copy settings uh, default settings.php to settings.php for this i will have to change the permissions so that it will be able to write it i'll have to set the read rate for everyone Sorry, not Q A, and uh, even for for directory. So read write execute A plus read write execute for files. Okay, so this is done. Let's try it again. Now it says uh, your server is capable of clean URLs and it is not enabled. Clean URLs is basically you get a don't get this question mark thing. Other things are working fine. So let's say continue anyway. Now database name is D9, then D9 user and so password advanced options if you want to if your host is different port number is different and a table prefix so we'll say d9 okay, table prefix basically make sure that or we call it osc it allows you to use multiple installation of Drupal on one database anyways so we'll continue It's installing the modules and other things. And now a lot of tables will also get created in our installation. Okay, so now it says that all necessary changes are done. You can uh, remove the permissions, write permissions from this particular file. We'll do that later on let's give it a name so open source cook the email username and password so i'm just giving a simple password right now don't do these things in real life set the country to country and Time zone it has taken up automatically, otherwise, select a proper one according to your requirements, depending on whom you are catering, right? Accordingly, set and that's it, your installation is complete. Fine, you are already logged in as an administrator. 
first user which you created is the administrator okay <laughs> so all the other things are here so we'll be exploring this in the other videos upcoming videos thanks for watching do subscribe my channel for further updates